Hey Alameda, it's Fernando here with Luis. Just gonna give you guys some information about Alameda Athletics. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to uh, boys basketball. They won against Ridgeview, 72 to 38. It was a good game. What do you have for us, Luis? All right, and I wanna give a shout out to our wrestling team as well. We're six and all right now, and make sure to come support to our next wrestling match. It's gonna be on Friday at Jefferson. And for the basketball team, they have two home games on Thursday and on Friday this week, so make sure to support. Go show some love to the basketball team. That's all we have for you guys today, and peace. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girls, Lila and Karina, and we're here to give you some quick announcements. All right, so, good enough. What do you have for us? All right, so there is a choir concert, which will also involve the orchestra and band, which, do you know when it is? Yes, it is. December 13th, which is a Thursday, at 6.30 in the auditorium. So guys, make sure to go support your band kids, your orchestra kids, and your choir kids. Because, as we all know, they've all been working really hard on these things. And yeah, that's all we have for you guys today. And go Pirates! Right, so just a reminder that today is Ugly Sweater Day, so wear another sweater like this. And Friday is Triple of course. So, show support by wearing blue for the pep rally. And that's it. Go Pirates! Hey guys, it's Rosie here with... Mr. Porter. And we're here to talk about expectations and rules for the pep rally. We have our winter pep rally coming up this Friday. And just a few reminders. You'll be going to your third period class um, for attendance. And then teachers will be dismissing you to go directly to the gym. Um, it's part of your school day, so we want to make sure you go directly to the gym, um, leave your backpacks and all your other belongings in, your in the classroom. Um, when you're in the pep rally, it's an opportunity to celebrate our sports teams and some of our clubs and activities. So please make sure that you come with a respectful attitude um, to cheer on all of those accomplishments for the winner, as well as no throwing anything during the pep rally. Um, including baby powder or anything like that. So just uh, get ready to have a fun time and, and a respectful experience for all of our students. All right, and that's all we have. Go Pirates! What's up, Alameda? It's Luis here with Seth. And we're here to give you some quick announcements. Uh, what do you got for us, Seth? All right, so... Wednesday, GSA Club, Journey Through Our Heritage, and Robotics Club are all after school. So go check those out. It's at 3.30. What do you got for us, Luis? Right. So History Club is going to be at 3 p.m. And then we're going to have a DACA presentation at 6 p.m. And they're all going to be here at the school. Yeah, that's all we have for you today. And see you later. from PNN and I'm here to inform you guys about the student application on December 15th. All applications are due on December 11th. The student candidates will give speeches during advisement. On December 12th through 14th, you guys could go vote in the cafeteria and on December 17th, the, they will announce the winners. So make sure you guys go vote and that's all we have for you today. Go Pirates! Hey Alameda Pirates, it's your girl Listen. I'm here with Marilyn and uh, more tech is now available for 10th and 11th graders. Uh, you guys can get the different educations. You guys can go apply online and you guys can pick your education and career. So it's a good deal. Have a little bit of fun and that's all we have for you today. And go Pirates. What's up, Alameda? I'm Junior and I'm here with counseling and to give you some announcements. Hi, I am Miss Fitzgerald. I am the ninth grade counselor and I am coming to you to remind you all that you have two and a half weeks to pull those grades up and get your credits. So please be using our Wednesday after school study hall in the library, work with teachers, use that off period and make sure you're going to class. We're almost there. I am in total agreement for the sophomores. Hi, I'm Miss Kewen. I'm the sophomore counselor here at Alameda. Uh, my announcements have to do with making up core classes. If you failed core classes last year, you can sign up for Jeffco Virtual Academy um, until December 17th. You'll go onto their website, go onto the apply now, and it'll walk, walk you through it. The other thing is that Warren Tech is taking applications now. So please get those applications in. Remember, you can apply for two different studies, mm -hmm. I guess majors.
Yeah. So anyhow, if you have any questions, please come down to counseling and talk to us about these things. That's all I have for you guys today, and go Pirates. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Isaac from PNA, and I'm here to inform you about 7th and 8th grade counseling. Hi, this is Miss Allen, 7th grade counselor, and I just wanted to let you guys know that we're preparing to um, have our second Alameda Proud celebration, Root Beer Floats for Students Who consistently display the learner profile trait. So keep doing a great job so that you can participate in our celebration. Go get them. That's all we have for you guys today and go Pirates. It's Melissa from PNA and I'm here to inform you about girls tennis. It begins in February and if you guys didn't attend the meeting, make sure to go talk to Kathy in the athletics. And that's all we have for you today and go Pirates. Hey guys, it's Josie here with Coach Taylor, the new girls basketball coach, and we have some questions for you. So, what's the most food that has got stuck in your braces? Uh, the most food that's gotten stuck in my braces is steak. Uh, we were eating at a steakhouse about two weeks after I got my braces, and they're still a little new, and I forgot that you can't eat certain foods, but I was eating the steak, and I had a big piece of steak stuck on the right side, and it was stuck there the whole time until I got home and was able to wedge it out. Ooh, that was the game that's painful. All right, and your job since you work at the Denver Rescue Mission, what's the craziest experience ever? Uh, crazy experience ever at my job, um, since we work with drug and alcohol uh, addiction, um, we had a guy that came, I think he was either drunk or high or whatever, and he came and was looking right. for his wife. Um, even though his wife currently wasn't there, he just kept looking for her, was knocking on everybody's door. Um, it was a situation where I didn't want him to get beat up because people were getting agitated, so we had to escort him out and the police assisted us with that. That sounds intense. All right, now since you referee also, what was the funniest moment refereeing for varsity? Um, funniest moment, I mean, it wasn't funny for everybody. It was funny for me because the home team, it was Pine Ridge, and I forgot who they were playing, but they forgot that they were playing at home, so they forgot their white uniforms. They were in their away uniforms, and the other team had their dark uniforms, which were the same color, basically. So we had to wait for all their parents to go back to their house, get their uniforms, so we had to delay the game for like 45 minutes to wait for them to come back and get their uniforms. That's pretty funny for a home game. How do you not know your home? All right, and your height. You're 6'5", right? Yes. Have you always been that height? No. So um, all through junior high, first basically two years of high school, I was 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, Pretty short. Um, then after my junior year in high school, that summer, I shot up to 6'4". Um, I remember coming back to school, nobody knew who I was. The coaches were looking at me like I was just some new transfer kid, um, but you know, the only person that knew was my best friend. He was like, he still has the same face. He's still ugly as ever. So that's how they knew it was me. But other than that, like having that big growth spurt kind of shocked everybody. All right. You got an interesting story to go with that about either your height, are you being a little on the short side, you know, or when you get the growth spurt? Um, not so much that, but um, you know, in my mind, in my mom's eyes, I was just a real cute kid. So. Growing up, um, I grew up mostly in Salt Lake City, Utah, and they film a lot of commercials there. So I was in a lot of commercials and movies when I was a kid. Um, if you ever remember the game Connect Four, uh, Simon, uh, Yahtzee, I was in a G.I. Joe commercial. Um, I was in a Hunter Safety video with Carl Malone. Um, and then I was in a, an after school special movie, you know, one of those safety movies like Don't Get in the Stranger's Car, you know. All that kind of stuff. So, wow. you were a famous little kid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was a little famous in my mind, but. And I got one last question. Okay. Since you played basketball, have you ever dunked on anyone? Um, yeah, I've dunked on quite a few people, Ooh. and that's a, uh, it's a, it's a good experience. I, I, I don't know if a lot of people can experience it, but it's just that thrill of taking all your your energy, your anger that you have built up from the week or whatever, and then you just let it out on a person and taking their whole spirit out is just, it's a beautiful thing. Um, it's a momentum killer, actually. Um, whatever momentum they have, you dunk on them, that just takes their whole momentum away. Okay, Michael Jordan, just playing. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for the interview. And that's all we have for today.
Go Pirates! Go Pirates. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that part. Hey guys, what up? It's your girl Lilo here. And uh, just a quick reminder. Finals are coming up. Uh, the day of finals. The days of finals, my bad. Are December 19th and December 20th. So make sure you study and get your grades up. Because the end of the semester is near. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. And go Pirates! Oh my, just switch from a rape to a lamb.